All right. This is part three, I guess, even though it's going to be the same video eventually. All right, going up here. Death of the Swiss just has song requests that may or may not happen. I don't know, but I'm going to say, throw this out there. I love Death of the Swiss. I think that I, I think that this year he's gone from most improved poster to just being contender for, for best poster of the year. I think he's going to win most improved again. You think? <laughs> Three years in a row. Dude, shut up, because one of the reasons I came back this year was so I could win most improved this oh, really? year. Oh, all right, all right. I uh, changed my opinion on the matter. <laughs> um, I like Death for the Swiss. He is the first uh, TPWW poster that I met in real life and I shared a hamburger with him. See, I like, he seems like he is legitimately trying to make the forums a better place. He, he is. And I can appreciate that. And as Pork Soda mentioned, he does talk a lot. Um, it's, it's interesting because he'll have a conversation while you just kind of nod and agree with him for a while. <laughs> But then he'll realize that he's doing it, and then he'll let you talk for a little bit. But then he'll have a bunch of opinions on the matter because he's a pretty smart guy. Right. And then he'll he, go off he comes on, across that way. Uh, on a bunch of tangents. And it's I don't know. It's just fun to be around him now. All right. So favorable opinion on DTTS. All right. The Destroyer. Beard. Beard. How drunk will we be? Uh, well, this is beer number, I don't know, like eight or something. I don't care. I just keep drinking it. Yeah, and we pounded some. Dude, I showed up to your house and like, hey, I'm thirsty. Yeah. Then we pounded some butterscotch <laughs> snaps in the parking lot here. Yeah. So it'll be pretty good. I think you're ahead of me by one beer right now, though. I think because I decided to eat that burger and I still haven't finished it. Probably. Well, you passed me out. But it's okay. All right, Triple Nate says, I, you know how I feel about you. Kyle, I can't tell you enough good things. Triple Nate was my first internet best friend forever. And oh, he's... Oh, yeah. And he remains one of, one of my best friends on TPWW. Like, if there's... Like, I honestly thought that Triple Nate was going to be the first poster from the dub that I met. And the reason that it didn't work out that way was circumstance. Like, uh, we go to Pittsburgh a lot, and uh, he was supposed to meet us there one time, and things didn't work out that way. But it will happen at one point. But, yeah, not enough good things I can say about Triple Nate. I hate him. Thoughts? I hate him so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, I um, honestly haven't interacted with him too much. A uh, little bit more recently due to extenuating circumstances and hopefully that grows a little bit more because he does seem solid and he seems he seems like he likes me and usually people like me I get along just fine with them oh I'm yeah very self-centered like from from talking to both of you I think that you two would get along wonderfully which I would just absolutely love all right one yes one writes question for Hornicane if you were a brand of industrial lubricant which one would you be I'm glad he asked this question one because I used to work in a machine shop, so I know all about this. If I could be any industrial lubricant, lubricant <laughs> we're, hey, not drunk. We're, we're not drunk, yeah, not right. I would be a mobile DTE heavy medium oil because that is generally what you use in a lot of smaller industrial machines. My experience is in a CNC lathe. I'm a bit, I have a bit of experience in CNC programming. I ran a CNC lathe and I also did some work in mills for about three years. So uh, I, I know the way that the heavy medium works. So that's what I would go with. And a uh, question for Jimmy from one, if you were a small animal, what would you be the best way to prepare you for human consumption? Well, I, I don't know much about cooking. I asked my uncle what he would do with me, and he said he would saute me with butter, and uh, there would be portobello mushrooms and uh, onions involved. I thought about it, and I don't, I don't really like that idea. <laughs> I, I, I would start by, I, as a living animal, the way you would kill me was making me drink beer to death because you want that that beer battered freshness i like it right as i die like you're gonna know okay jimmy croaked um <laughs> then then you skin me and you put me like shove a stick up my ass not one <laughs> and then 
And then you, you put me on like a, what is it, a rotisserie? A spit. A rotisserie or a spit over a fire, and you barbecue sauce the hell out of me. Now, inside of my mouth, after you've, you know, you gotta gut me before you stick that shit up in me. I want bacon shoved down my throat and barbecue sauce just wrapped all around me. You just keep turning that shit until I'm golden crispy. And then I want you to lap me up because it's gonna be delicious. Jimmy Cones, you sound just tasty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and our last one for this part is from Label, who says, I have no questions. I just hope you two have a good time. Label has like less than 300 posts. Oh, and I was thinking of lava. Uh, no, no. It's label. Huh? Yeah, he has less than 300 posts. Okay. But you know what? Is I, he a wrestling forum person who just kind of. Oh, I, I mean, casual now? And I'm you know, I have this. no idea, but I mean, he's voted for me in rounds of the king of the forum, and I've had. I've seen a couple comments from him that have been positive, so I'm just going to say label. I don't know who the hell you are. But you make a good first impression. You're off to a good start. So keep it up. I like it. All right. You'll see us in a few minutes when we're more drunk.